Hi, welcome. It's uh, fun making these super flex videos. Uh, what are we talking about? What is this super flex thing? When we go to um, our website, right? Arc Linux info. Info means information. That's it. Nothing about Linux. It's in the sense, but everything about um, the, inf the Arc Linux information. What about Arc Linux? There is this cheat sheet today on Arc Linux, and here we have a drop down here that's new, and we do have something to share with you. This is everything you need to know to install any of our desktops. We have 15 desktops at this point in time. This is a clean installation of VirtualBox, hence all the pop ups. So um, we've made already two videos, and I'm gonna leave you with a third so you get things uh, going on your end. So the fun is that we can uh, install starting from uh, November, mid-November 2019, we can install all 15 desktops on our systems. And you can start with anything really. You can start with Arclix D and Arclix B also more and as a B, 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 Mate or B something else, right? Anything Arclix based, even Arch Linux based, you can use our uh, elements and our cheat sheet here. So there are two, uh, well, three things, three categories, right? It's green, orange, yellow. So the green thing is probably something you're gonna need. It's, it's essential. It's not coming from Arco Linux. It's all Arch. There's no mention in here in the green stuff that it's Arco, right? So these are the Lego blocks that we get from the Arch Linux repos. But if you wanna have a working system, and sometimes that's not necessary, you install also the orange ones, right? Because, for instance, in Tiling Window Managers, awesome, BSPWM, uh, DWM later, so to be developed, uh, I3WM, GDWM to be developed later, uh, Qtile and Xmonad, and Extended is just a combination of six of them. On those guys, you'll need a configuration, otherwise you'll get the standard configuration of i3, the standard configuration of BSPWM, and you have to figure it out, which will take longer than installing the package with all the configs, right? So, but normally, uh, if it's a complete desktop, we, let's go over them as well. Complete desktops are Budgie, Cinnamon, and Deeping, Enlightenment, you know, Mate, Plasma, XFC. Those guys provide everything you're gonna need and you don't need the orange guys. The yellow guys is what make our Arch Linux D or Arch Linux B nice. Icons, themes, stuff that we like from settings like Nomax, uh, things like that are all in the config. So if you don't want the config, great, don't use it. So this is not necessary. And if you use it, just one, one or none because they will confl conflict with each other. And the same goes for the deconf. Deconf is a kind of database and it keeps tracks, for instance, uh, keyboard shortcuts in the budgie, I think you know, right? So this video, we're gonna play around a little bit more. Um, it's in VirtualBox, it can stay here with us in here. So, Control T, this is VirtualBox, okay? Play around with it and then uh, see if you install it on your real machine. So we have uh, the possibility to get some more stuff in. What do you want to have? We have at this point in time XFCE box and i3, this Arch Linux ISO. So you choose what's the proper um, desktop you would like to discover. We've already a video of Awesome and Awesome, Awesome and BSPW and Mate. We've already made one of Budgie, Cinnamon and Gnome, which actually leaves us, for instance, Deeping. Why not use Deeping? So these guys have all been done. So the first in alphabetical order is Deeping. Okay, so you see what you need. You need Deeping and Deeping Extra, and DTK Widget and Linux Headers. Well, I wanna learn as well when I make these videos. Do we still need Linux headers? Because that was a fix for an error we had back in the days. It's a hundred megabyte more, so maybe we don't need it anymore. So we go Pacman minus S. Deeping and Deeping Extra. Now this is tricky. I mean, by that, 
that sometimes Deeping gives us a Deeping package which is going to conflict then with our own package and we have to decide which to keep. We can't keep both of them. You get these remarks, that package is conflict with that package, do you want to remove that package, right? So it it's, uh, depends on what uh, system you're on, if that conflict will arise or not. If so, if you want to have deeping, just put deeping on its own on an SSD. Because it is a beautiful desktop environment, indeed. So that's one. I'm not going to install number two here. Neither am I going to install the Arch Linux configurations. So you see what it will look without our intervention. Not the config and not the thing. So you can restrict yourself to the green stuff and say, how will that look? I did install both of them. Yeah, okay. So let's see if anything pops up from errors because there were two packages there that we needed to change, right? So open box XFC i3. That's the ISO I start with. I install Deeping. This is what Superflex is about. He asked me, what do I have? Of course, I want to have the effect mode because it gives us nice transparency and all that. So this is what we get out of the box already. It takes off it takes the configurations from XFC, otherwise you'll have the deeping uh, icons. These are not the deeping icons, these are the satellite icons, right? So we have already a nice setup, even without uh, getting our config in or the deconf in, anything of that. So it's an, an awesome uh, trick. We have the wallpapers here, everything is available in here. The settings are over here. Everything opens up, it's a little bit slower since it's virtual box. Doesn't feel slow at all on real metal. But here it is a little bit glitchy. But there you go, that's virtual box. It's not the real thing, right? It's virtual. So basically, um, I do not recall whether GTK widget was necessary or not. But uh, there is an update coming in. In the meantime, let's see, DTK widget. What was this thing? Deep in graphical user interface library. Oh, it's already the dependency. So great, I can uh, adjust the, um, the file there, the, the, the cheat sheet. So it is already installed due to the dependencies. They've added themselves. And then Linux headers. Is not installed. That was due to or something. Anyway, I'm gonna test if it's still needed. But this is how easy it is to install stuff. And now it's up to you to have fun with it and rearrange it, change icons, and explore it because there are lots of deeping things, deeping uh, application that I've never made videos about. Uh, clone sounds interesting, right? Bootmaker sounds interesting. So things like that are, are actually from Deeping itself, applications that Deeping provides. So go and have a look and um, explore it. That's the point of this Superflex thing. Just add some stuff to your system, explore it and um, have fun, right? Now we end up with this drop down, and you learn all about Deeping. All right, use the super flex powers, use the cheat sheet and have fun.